Hey everybody, it's Dextros, and today we are doing a Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Now, some of you may have seen this game on the Steam Flash sale. I believe it went down to $24, so if you are new to this game, one, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are a veteran of this game, and you guys don't really use mods, this game will be covering the mod Hyper Edit. And for all you modders out there who already know what this is, this is just a tutorial for Hyper Edit. I want to get that out of the way now so you guys aren't sitting here watching something you probably already know how to do. Um, I'm doing the Hyper Edit tutorial because I've got a uh, message on my DeviantArt account from somebody who's always wondering how I got the crafts that I did into space. So I decided to cover it here so that you all can see how I do it. It's actually f a fairly simple program to use. Once you download and install it into your directory files, all you're going to do is hit Alt-H if it's installed directly, and you'll get this Hyper Edit window up in the corner. Now, you can move it wherever you want to move it. I tend to keep it up here so it's out of the way, and I can still see what I'm doing while I'm moving. And when you op when it opens up, you're going to have a few different options. Oh, excuse me. You're going to have Orbit Editor, Planet Editor, Ship Lander, and Misc Tools. The one that you are mainly going to work with is the Orbit Editor. Don't worry about Planet Editor, and the Ship Lander is currently bugged. I will show you that later in the video. I don't know when it's going to be fixed. I don't know if they actually changed it so it did it, but to me it's a bug because earlier versions didn't do what it does. So, you start, Alt-H opens up the tab, and say we wanted to put this craft in orbit around, uh, let's say, we'll just, we'll just do Kerbin for now. You're going to open Orbit Editor, you're going to select active vessel and then you'll see the five different options you have simple complex graphical velocity and rendezvous the only one unless you are some math genius no offense to you math geniuses out there I appreciate what you do you're gonna be using the simple one mainly because if you go under complex you have to deal with inclination eccentricity semi-major access long longitude of ascent node arrangement of periapsis mean of anomaly at epoch and epoch. Now, I don't even know what half of that does, and I am working on planes. That's a sad thing. But you don't need, if you know how to use that math, go ahead and use this section. I will not be covering this section. I will also not be covering graphical because, again, that involves that stuff from complex, and I just don't know how to use it. I would like to know how, but I don't. Uh, under the velocity, you can just put what you want your uh, ship's velocity to be at. And then on a rendezvous, I'll show you that as well later once we get to craft up. Um, so once you select your active vessel, you're going to see the altitude button. Now we're going to set it at an altitude of 100,000. And then you're going to see reference body, and it says Kerbin for now. I always double click just to make sure it is actually set at Kerbin, because in earlier modes it actually didn't set it to Kerbin, and you'd have to go back and actually set it. Once you do that, you're going to hit apply. Now, once you hit that, it's going to put you in a 100,000 orbit around Kerbin, as you can see here. Um, which brings me to the MISC tools for a second. Because in the MISC tools, you will see that it has liquid fuel, oxidizer, monopropent electrical charge. What these tabs allow you to do is say, let's burn up a little bit of fuel right now. You see how those tabs went down? Well, what we can do is we can change it so that our oxidizer and our liquid fuel or whatever we're using at the time is actually full again. So say you're on a mission out to Jewel and you run out of fuel. If you have Hyper Edit installed, you can refuel your ship. You can refuel the electrical charge if you forgot to put solar panels on. You need that electrical charge to, to move your craft to the space station, something like that. Um, you can destroy your vessel. You can enable heat editor. Um, I haven't messed with that, mainly because I don't know what it does. One second. Um, that was an alarm clock I had set for something else in my game. Um, but yeah, so from there, you can also, I'm going to put this back in its orbit real quick so it's not going down. This is what I'm talking about with the ship lander. Now, in earlier versions, it was all the same. Planet Kerbin is set to be our landing site so you would hit set the current so it sets you to that longitude and latitude above Kerbin and it's supposed to set you at the altitude of 20 I'm gonna change it to 100 just because that's what I always had it at now you can save it for future landing sites say you were doing like a colony you could save it for that future landing site and drop stuff there all the time and then you would hit land here but for some reason all it does now is slow your craft down to a dead halt 
even though it says you're going 200 point 203.6 meters a second and you're dropping at one meter a second normally what it would do is it would spawn you 100 meters above cur above that spot on Kerbin or wherever you are and then it would drop you at about a rate of two meters a second which is pretty quick for 100 meters a second or 100 meters above Kerbin so that is a bug at the moment Personally, I don't really care about because I like to land the ships myself because I don't really care where I land on the planets. Unless I'm going for a specific crater, then I just sit there and wait for it to go all the way down. Um, from there, I'm going to reset this one again. I'm going to bring up a secondary craft to show you all the rendezvous. Which craft should we bring up? Let's do. Which of the Antares? Um, I personally love this thing because when I'm building space stations, all I have to do is go to Edit Orbiter and Rendezvous, and my sh I can rendezvous my craft to near close to where the, my main station is, and then just dock the part from there instead of having to get around all these orbits when I'm trying to do series really quick. So again, Alt H to open, and if it's not already open, Orbit Editor, select active vessel go to rendezvous leading time I tend to po put it at 0.5 and then you're gonna select what you want so in this case we're gonna put it in your Kerbal X and then you're going to hit apply and what that's gonna do is it should put or not hey guys I do apologize for that it turns out that there was another bug with the hyper edit program that I did not know about in the rendezvous section if you go to apply it to rendezvous with it it will be crashing your game so at this point do not use rendezvous and if you want to use ship later you can but don't um, until next time that is all I have uh, there will be alpha they're not alpha it will be um, arc survival this Wednesday will be the release of the video of the gameplay trailer for that. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.